Guten Tag. Bar is open for Oktoberfest, so let's review the Benedictina Weissbier Dunkel. Hey there, SG Alcohol Guy here, making use of my Wines and Spirits certification, which includes a course on beers, to give you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And since it's still Oktoberfest, which by the way actually runs from you know the, the third week of September to early October. It doesn't run in October itself. But nonetheless, there's still time for German beer reviews. And so today we're gonna do a German duck beer. Now I previously reviewed the Benedictiner Weiss beer Natutrum, which is the naturally cloudy wheat beer. I apologize if I butchered the language. But this is a Dunkel, so much easier to pronounce, and that simply means duck beer. Now, just like the previous one, I purchased this at uh, two bottles for $13.90 Singapore dollars. So that makes this just under seven Singapore dollars per bottle. And for that, I get a 500 ml bottle with 5.4 alcohol content. And just like a previous video, this Benedictina Weissbier Dunkel is from Ettal, Germany. And let's see how the beer looks, smells, and tastes. As usual, when I pour my beers, I like to pour it in such a way that you know the foam appears in the glass, not in my stomach. Uh, this is not going to contain the full 500 ml, so I'm just going to pour it as much as possible. And as you can see, beautiful bubble here, plus a nice hit of foam here. So this is going to be a more medium to heavy bodied beer. And looking at the color, it's not a very dark beer, but it's a bit more of a brownish ale color. Um, hints of orange at the edges, so you know it does suggest that it's going to be a bit more medium rather than full bodied. Scent wise, it has a rich, fruity, yet chocolatey scent. Really interesting uh, smell. And you know, it's it's something that again it doesn't smell too rich or heavy, it just gives a nice balanced feel. But we won't know until we have the taste test. Now the ingredients for this beer are water, wheat malt, malted barley, yeast, and hops. And it definitely gives a very strong malty aftertaste. Unlike the Weiss beer cousin, this one, while it's also very balanced, it's you know perfectly crafted together, it just comes out as a lot more malty, which I'm guessing is because of the ingredients. And because of that, I actually prefer this Dunkel more than its Weiss beer counterpart, the wheat beer counterpart. That being said, it's still pretty one-dimensional in the sense that while it's a very nice balanced beer there's just that layer of you know maltiness to the beer uh, and it lingers in the mouth quite a long while actually because of the editing i've already been talking for two minutes i can still taste the malt i can't taste much else of the beer after that you know that sort of disappeared after a minute but the malt flavor stayed on and it's still here it's not an unpleasant taste, it's just that it's not what I'm looking for in a beer. So for me, this Benedictina Weiss Beer Dunkel is yet another beer that I will not be revisiting. Hey there, thanks for watching up to this point, greatly appreciate it. Um, I just want to state though that all these videos are based on my personal tastes and personal opinions. Uh, it's not to be used as an industry standard. I do, however, would love to see what you think about this Benedictina Weiss beer Dunkle. So drop me some comments and, and let's compare notes. But since you're here, do help me click on the like button, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, click on the notification bell as well, simply because I upload two new videos every week and I don't want you to miss out. And of course, most importantly, happy drinking! Thank <laughs> you.